everybody, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass OpenDNS's Internet Security Cloud interface. And DNS is basically the domain name system. It's how your computer um, interprets web um, website names into IP addresses that are redirected back to your computer in order for you to view the website. Now, to explain this simply before I even get into it, and I'm going to also have this um, available for people who just like to see the IP addresses before we even talk about what they're for. But here we go. So let's say you're looking up a website called rugers.edu. Now in order for your computer to look that item up, it has to go through a DNS server, which is usually done through your local DNS server and sometimes through things like OpenDNS if your computer has protections against um, certain websites and things like that and protects you from viruses and maybe has parental controls like Open uh, OpenDNS does. Looking up the website goes to the root DNS and says, okay, what kind of website is rugers.dns? Now it tells you that the website is the edu web website. Now you go to the edu.edu DNS, um, DNS server and then it tells you that the DNS has found that the website is called rugers.edu. It returns it back to your local DNS and then it um, basically relays it back to the rugers.edu DNS which is the website um, FTP site and um, wherever the server, server is hosted and redirects it back to your local DNS which is your um, main source of information and then it converts that information into an IP address which can be sent back to your computer in order for you to view the website. So that's pretty much the simplest way to explain it. And what I've gone on was Google's public DNS system. Now, these websites are blocked for a reason. They're for people who, you know, if, if you're trying to protect yourself from getting viruses, um, rightfully so, it's good to um, use this to protect yourself from those things. If you're trying to get on pornography, um, it's, it's good to protect your children from these things, um, from minors, but for those of us who like to view it, and still protect us, protect our um, minors from this information. Um, if you have administrative privileges on your computer, and I stress that you must have administrative privileges, privileges on your computer, or have access to changing network security, which usually typically means that you have to have um, administrative privileges, privileges anyways. As you can see, I have the IP addresses for those of you who just want to type that in right now. But all you need to do is go on Google's generous public DNS system and it allows you to um, check all your DNS information or your internet um, searching through P Google's public DNS. Now, before you guys even start any questions, this will definitely protect you from being tracked through your OpenDNS um, lookup system because when you go through OpenDNS, it will look up that file through there and store it in a cache file for whoever is running the computer. Um, to see a, what kind of websites you went on. But if you go on Google's public DNS, it's run by everybody. Um, and because Google has it, you will not be tracked through your local DNS because you're now using Google's public DNS. Now to view the IPv4 and IPv6, all you need to do is go, go to configuration instructions, scroll down to where it says Google's public DNS um, I, IP address, and then it shows you the IPv4 and the IPv6, which means Internet Protocol version 4 and Internet Protocol version 6. Now, to change your DNS um, services, if you're an administrator, you go to Start, you click Control Panel, and then you find Network and Security, click Network and Sharing Center. Now, it'll either say Local Area Connection, or if you're on a laptop, you will use a, it'll say Wireless Connection, unless you're plugged in through the blue wire, which will then transfer it to a Local Area Connection. Getting back to the subject, you can see the IPv4 connectivity is internet access, IPv6 connectivity is no internet access. Now you want to change both of them anyways because it will be helpful for in the future if you are um, accessing connections from IPv6, maybe network administrator and you need to use those privileges as such. Um, rightfully so, you will have both of them as, as um, the public Google DNS lookup service. Now to change it, you go to properties. You go to IPv4, IPv4, then you go to use the following DNS server addresses located at the bottom. You find the information right here and you type in the information 8.8.8.8 and then the alternate would be 8.8.4.4, so 8.8.4.4. And then once you have done that, you click OK and that's it. Then if you want to change IPv6, it's not mandatory but you should change it anyways. You use the following DNS server address and you control C or copy and you control V or paste if it worked <laughs> hold on control C and 
Control V. There you go. I think it's because I have the space right there. Control C. Control V. That's it. So as you can see, the port is also 8888844, which is kind of like the uh, IPv4, Internet Protocol Version 4 settings, but it's just the port. Once you have done that, you can now leave those websites. I'm not even going to look the website up for you, but as you saw, the website was blocked beforehand, and if you look it up again, it will not be blocked. I can give you guys a demonstration if you'd like, but because of YouTube, I will not um, show you the uh, thing, but you will see that this will change from the blocked website into the um, actual website. So if I type in www.com, you will now be able to view these websites. So congratulations everybody, you have successfully changed your DNS lookup service into Google's public DNS in order for you to view um, websites at your discretion. Your children don't need to have to be able to see it. You can use it only on your own computer, your own laptop, and that's how that works. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and if you have any serious issues, please let me know by uh, personal message or PMing me on YouTube. And don't forget to check out my website, my Facebook, and my Twitter. They're all set on my channel page. And until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.